about your presence, God. Hallelujah. It's all about your presence. Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Jesus, we bless your name, God. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. It's all about your presence, God. We reverence your presence here, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. Father, we come to you right now, oh God. Any and all things in us that would offend your presence, we ask that you forgive us right now. God, anything that we're thinking right now that would offend your presence, we ask you to purge our thoughts even now. Because God, only you know our thoughts. And we ask you to sanctify our thinking even now. God, anything that we've done before we got to church that will hinder your presence and your move of God. Any and all thorns in our flesh that keep us falling short of your glory. We lay every thorn on the altar and ask you for deliverance now in the name of Jesus. God, we ask you to wash us once again. Purge us with this sun. Wash us white as snow. Make us to hear joy and gladness. We ask in the name of Jesus that you will anoint us. And that you will strengthen us and that you will empower us with a word. Give me a word for your people. We need a word from heaven. We need to hear from the throne room of God. We need to know what thus saith the Lord today. We don't want to hear from flesh. But God, we want to hear from you. Every demon and every devil that would hinder this word of God from going forth in the sanctuary and outside of the sanctuary, we bind it in the name of Jesus and for the glory of God. We ask right now that you would sit an anointing that would not only make preaching easier, but sit an anointing that will make preaching effective. Sit an anointing that will make our ears to hear what the Lord is saying to the church in this hour. Father, we're living in a day that we need the Lord. So right now we surrender to your will. And we ask you to have your way in our midst. In Jesus' name we pray. And we come on one accord. And we say amen. And amen. And praise God. Real quick, clap down and give God praise. Hallelujah. Clap down and give God praise. Now lift up those holy hands and open those that mouth of yours and say hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We're going to give the word of the Lord on today. Get your Bibles and we're going to go real quick. I, I, I promise you I, I won't be very long. Y'all give me 30 minutes. It's 15 after now. Give me 30 minutes. Amen. And we're going to go forth in the name of Jesus. Get your Bibles and run your Bibles over um, to the word of the Lord. Get your Bibles and go with me to Old Testament description of Isaiah 43. Isaiah Isaiah 43 and 18. And can we stand in the reverence of God's word? Isaiah 43 and 18. Thank you, Jesus. Bless the Lord. Isaiah 43 and 18. And it reads like this. Remember ye not the former thing. Neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do 
Somebody say a new thing. We have already seen God's hand manifest something in this house that is a thing that is needed amongst God's people. Amen. We all need God to do somebody say a new thing. We need God to move it away. Where only God can move. Amen. Amen. Y'all just have the other yeah. God. Really? Yeah. We need God to move in a way that only God can move. Yeah. We need God to manifest a new thing in our lives yeah. and so many of us and, 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 and if I had one person in this place that can agree with me by the clapping of your hands after I say this so somebody else will know that they are not in this by themselves but how many of us in here are tired of the old thing Amen. Amen. and if I'm not tired of the old thing I'm sick of the same thing. I'm going to the right church. Yes, yes. yes Because the enemy is on assignment in your life yes. to get you in a place of no progress. Oh, I'm prophesying right there. I'm prophesying right there. He's tried his best to get you in a place of no progress, of, 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 of at a standstill. Oh, glory. But I've come today to break that trap of standstill off of your life today. Today is set the second Sunday in September, and after today, whatever been at a standstill at your life, after the day, you are no longer will be in standstill because the presence of the Lord is here right now to deliver you out of standstill mode. Yes, yes, yes. Seems like, seems like, seems like. This year, we prepared ourselves for the great. I'm going to be great in 2020. Uh -huh. My vision is going to come to pass in 2020. All right. What I've been believe, believing God for, I'm going to see it in 2020. Yes. But when I understand this thing, and when I know that God is about a move, is when it seems like the enemy is coming in like a flood. When I understand that the God that I serve can yet work when stuff is turned upside down, that in the midst of my turned upside down, God can say, Behold, I will do a new thing in you. Tell you God has a new thing 
zeal for is to see the salvation of the Lord. So when God is getting ready to manifest his salvation, that's the only thing I stand still for and give God praise. So, 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 if, somebody say if. If. Now say, and what? Because it ain't no if about it that in 2020 you have lost some stuff. If and what I have lost in 2020 in this season right now, if I lost it, it was for my good and for God's glory. Yes, yes, yes. So somebody is praising God because of what they got. I'm praising God because of what I lost. Because what I lost brought me closer to the cross because I lost it. I ain't gonna lose everything I have that God made me glorify. So if I lost it, I lost it. For the glory of God. Behold, I will do a new thing. I lost it for the glory of God. Behold, I will do a new thing. I lost it for the glory of God. So, 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 what you gotta understand this. We understand this. We understand this. We understand this. When, when you go, when you go to Walmart, when I go to Walmart, I have the liberty to go down whatever aisle I want to go. Pick up, am I right? Yes. Whatever I want to pick up that's on the shelves. Yes, yes, yes. And put it in my basket. Yes. Mm. But just because I walk down the aisle and put it in my basket, <laughs> it does not kill me. Is in my basket. All right. Mm. That's right. The only thing it does is this. The only thing it does is this. It limits, it limits anybody else in the store from getting what belongs to me because of what is in my basket. The unspoken rule is if something is in your basket, can't nobody come and get it. Amen. That's right. Am I right? That's right. So I'm coming there to tell you just by you making it to the house of God, that gives you the right to know what God has for you. Can nobody else get what God has? But they can't get it. Oh, glory to God. They can get something on the same shelf, but they can't get it. Why? Because it's in my basket. I come to the interior. Right. And when you come to church today, don't you come here just to walk around down the aisles and not put something in your basket. If you only came to church in order to be seen, you came for the wrong reason. If you only came in order to be Oh, for her. you came for the wrong reason. But if you came, that your basket made me feel. God says I will feel your basket. I want to put it in your basket. But I cannot take it home with me legally until I go to the register. I have to find my bill folder. I have to go in there and I either had to pull out a card and 
and I thought I had a bill in here. A card or some cash. And if I don't have a card or cash, I cannot take out of the store what's in my basket. So many of you, so many of you, so many of you, you come to the house of God. Yes. And when you leave the house of God, you come to prayer. And when you leave prayer, when you read your Bible at home, you read your Bible. You put stuff in your basket, but you never go to the register to make an exchange for the new thing that you put in your basket. All right, Bishop. So what you do, what you do, you walk out the store. Have you, y'all young for the morning about the budget, but have you ever been old and you and you, and, and, and you're saved and you know you want to live and you're trying to live right? But have you ever put something in your basket? And when you got outside the store, you found out that what was in your basket, you forgot to pay for it. Yes. Yeah. 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 I know why the devil got so much right now. We're forgetting to pay for what God has given us. Our salvation is free, Bishop. Yes, it is free. But I didn't say that you had to have the money to pay for it. I said you had to make an exchange. Yeah. You ain't gonna have the money to pay for it. You would never have the money to pay for what God has for you. But whenever God makes an exchange, whenever He takes what you have. In order to make room for what he has. Yes. Whatever God let anything walk out of your life. When I understand that this is the Lord's doing. And it's marvelous oh, in my eyes. When I learn that whenever I lose something, it's for the glory of God. And when I count what I lost. And I stop focusing on what I lost. And stop focusing on that God has just made an exchange. And whatever I gave up, the thing he's going to give me is his glory. Yeah. Mm. The question comes in. The question comes in. What is the glory of God and why? What is his glory? All right. What is it? We hear about it. What, what is his glory? Yes. What is it? That's one dimension of glory. It's what we can give God. Whenever you praise God, you give it God the glory. glory. When you lift your hands up, and I gave it this one right now, when you lift your hands up, you're giving God the glory. glory. And I'm coming to tell you, and, 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 and I know I got at least three, three witnesses in here. Have you ever been somewhere and you won't even think about it? And before you thought about it, your hands was up. Because you start thinking about the goodness of Jesus. And all he's done for you. Yes. You just begin to give God the glory. glory. Mm, I'm to yes. I'm to and you know what? I'm so glad that sometimes God will come in and when that is not even a praise on my lips, I give him a praise because I feel it. But I'm so glad he don't have to tax me to praise him. But if all I got to do is think about his goodness, can we take about 30 seconds and just think about the goodness of the Lord and just lift up your hands and give God the glory. Because if we be real about it, it's not your job that's sustaining you. Because you don't make enough money to do what you need to do. It's God. Can somebody just give God the glory? I serve a God. I serve a God when you ain't got a job. I know I got somebody to witness it. When you ain't got a job, he'll still make a way. And therefore, we gotta give him up. Oh, I'm to Paris. Hey, behold, I'm gonna do a new thing. Yeah. I'm to Paris. Yeah. Hey. A new thing. A new hey. thing. 
And not only can I, now that's for baby Christians that can praise God when everything is all right. Baby Christians can praise Him when the report is good. Yes, yes. But do I have anybody in here that when the report was getting bad, you still gave God the I got an emotion. Yeah. Hey, I can glorify God when I get back new. Yeah. I can glorify God when they call me and tell me that my test results was negative. Because I know the same God that blessed me before is worthy of the glory right now. Yeah. And you know what? Even those of us, even those of us before we got saved, and now that we are saved, if we look back and see the times that God's mercy, can you think about the time when you was in sin and showed up sin? You was in show no messed up. You was in show no error. And we should think about the time if God had cut you off while you were doing that. At that moment, you would have died and found yourself in hell. But God let you hear the gospel and get yourself together. You ought to give God the what? The glory. Think about when you watch, have you ever watched the news and you saw folk that did not go through as much as you went through and they and, and they lost their mind, they lost their self, and you still here can count the ten, know who the president is, know where you are and when your birthday is. You ought to lift your hands and give God the glory. When you can look back. When you can look back at vehicles that you walked out of, and when the insurance agent came up, he said total loss. But you walked out and you still breathing. You ought to lift your hands and give God the glory. But 
greater love.